I still haven't organized that stuff from the last video. Hey, I'm Jabbo. Welcome to Brickstar, your home for clutter um, in vintage Lego. So, uh, last video, I put the Nesquik rabbit right there. And you, you think about it. Every It's like you add something, then another time you add something else, and then it's just a big mess. So, I have... The problem is I clean off these shelves sometimes, and then... Oh, it's like, oh, there's a free space. There's, oh, look, there's a vintage tree. I need to put that in the vintage tree container. Um, I took something off. Okay. And so there, there's a lot of things up here. Um, and some of them, like we, this was going to be like the mystery science theater thing. And this is where you got that intro. I should re, I should bring back the intro. But they say you shouldn't waste the first three seconds of your video. It should be something to grab people's attention. So, I don't do that anyway, so I guess I could put the intro back. Uh, and up here was going to be all the tipper trucks and things that fans had sent. And over there was going to be all the Lego house stuff, which would not fit there. And then that, and then the tipper, the UCS tipper truck in the corner. Uh, but I got a question from Oaktown Bricks. And the question was, why do you collect Lego sharks? It's because of this guy. The, the greatest shark of all time. This one's discolored. It's supposed to be more, um, I think it's supposed to be more bluish looking. It's, mine looks gray. It's, it's supposed to be more the colors of his fins. They're a different material. Uh, but yeah, it color faded with time. But this was introduced to me at uh, Philly Brick Fest when it was actually a good show. When um, the, the um, oh, I can't, I can't remember her name, the snail lady. What's Snail Lady's name? Uh, she is a collector of oddities. She, <laughs> and this was one of those oddities, and she showed me this, and I'm like, why have I never seen this before? So, um, yeah, one piece. One Lego piece, not multiple. Oh, my, my button's getting stuck. Uh, and so, yeah, why do you like Lego sharks, Oaktown Bricks? It's because of this guy. Um, but there were sharks before this came out, but that, that, that... I think if it, if I was, if you're going to hold me to it, like, if you're going to ask me what my favorite set is, it's kind of obvious now. It's changed. This is like the third time it's changed since I started this channel. <clears throat> tipper truck, not the tipper truck train. Well, I like the tipper truck train, but the tipper truck is my favorite set. So that you think, well, maybe the tipper truck is your, the bucket would be my favorite piece. But maybe it's the shark, the Duplo shark. Um, but that's not the only shark. Oh, there's a shark. There's a shark right there. This is what sunk the Titanic. Um, and then I got another shark over here. This may be the one of the worst sets ever made. The Forma, the Forma shark. I actually, I found this box that this came in. It's in the back of the basement over there. I probably should take this apart. This is a paper shark. It's, this is, this is, this is one of the worst things ever done. It's one of the a crowd fun. I'm taking this off of there. Oh, then I got this shark. This is stuffed in. That's a, actually a shark suit guy. Then there's a shark suit guy tag. What is. Then there's a shark suit guy uh, keychain. And. Is that. A, oh, there's shark shark guy pencils. Uh, shark, shark, shark guy stickers. Um, shark guy book with his date for the day. So there's some of the. Uh, it didn't mean it, it, the collection shouldn't have been shark suit guys, it should have been just sharks, and so it got it got out of hand. There were there were only a couple of varieties of sharks back in the day, or you had the brick built ones. Uh, but I just uh, you know, oh, I never did answer the question why do I like sharks? It's because they're such great comedians, so that's why I like sharks. So we got a package, I should probably should have mentioned this at the beginning. The first three seconds are so important. I should have so I got this package from. Bricks in space. This is the story of a couple of quacks who have gone to the dogs. Bricks in space. No, it's not bricks in space. Bricks in space is awesome. This is actually a surprise package, but I and I, he probably or they probably did it. The name bricks in space. Are they Muppets fans? Because when I see bricks in space, I think of pigs in space and. Pigs in Space was cl classic comedy. I need something to open this with. The, the problem with this microphone. So this is a surprise package. 
and I'm going to open it up. I'm terrible at opening things. I've got a note. I always like to check to see if there's a note before I look. I try not to see what was sent. Uh, this um, from Scott, aka Bricks in Space. He says, Hey, Jabba, hopefully by the time you receive this, the work strike will be over. It is. This is, the, I'm filming this on the second day of work, but you'll be watching this. If you watch it when it posts, it'll be the third day of work. Um, he says, but nevertheless, I, I thought I could add to your Spaceman collection, including is the, what? The new dark blue Spaceman built with parts available. I am also enclosing some green helmets for your green Spaceman and a purple tank and helmet. Lego did not have them available on their Bricks and Pieces website earlier. Wait, they did have them available. So, of course, I bought extras. What? I did not know this. I should keep up with the news. I am a big fan of old Lego, more specifically old space Lego. So that's why Bricks in Space. So I always appreciate your videos on those sets. I uh, love your channel and videos. Hope you have a great day. Best wishes to your family. So yeah, we are back to work. It's not sharks in space. It's Bricks in Space. So let me look at this. Uh, I need to get closer. I still haven't got everything off from the uh, last video. Oh, I see what he did. Okay. Whoops. So, the purple. I did. I misread it. I was like, I thought he said dark blue. He said dark purple. Let me, yeah, the purple tank and helmet. Um, so, the purple, those were in um, that, it's not Monkey Kid, Chinese New Year, whatever, one of those, maybe it was, I don't, it's one of those Oriental sets. And the green helmet, I think this is, I actually need these because the green one, uh, the one that came with the exo, exo suit, the Lego Ideas, is actually the wrong one, the motorcycle helmet. Uh, it's more like this one here. Actually, this is looks like a castle one. <laughs> Look at that. So that, even got the hand. So they have this... Um, the dark blue spaceman on um, the minifigure build thing at Lego Stores, but he comes with yellow hands. So he switched out the hands. And he's got this helmet, and they don't have. I was getting excited because I was like, they haven't made dark blue. They haven't made dark blue uh, air tanks yet. So that's the probably the best option. The black look the least contrasting until they actually make it. So really, thank you, Scott for that because I wasn't going to be going to the store uh, to get this uh, anytime soon. Wait, I got, let me do this. How do you focus just on, oh, you can't. Make a thumbnail picture. Thank you, Scott. That's a, a, a big surprise right there. So I'm going to put this guy up here for now. <laughs> I need to take something off. And then the helmets I'll put here for now. I actually don't know where my green um, spaceman <clears throat> is. It's probably with the... The only the, the only green spaceman I ever remember getting were with the... Um, the Lego Ideas set. The, the exoskeleton or whatever, whatever it's called. <laughs> I, got, I got the box for it over there. I could just go get it, but I'm too lazy. I can, it's, I can see it. It's like... But I know the set's not in there. It's just the extra parts... And the instructions and things like that. But I never built the figure, I think, with the right helmet. So thank you for those helmets. And yeah, the dark blue I wouldn't be getting anytime soon because I, I'm not buying. But I, that's not entirely true. So I had some LEGO VIP points. And LEGO had a promotion. So I have placed an order at LEGO. I ended up out of pocket. And I... And I I really debated this because I, I didn't want to end my streak. So, But my streak is over. I spent $20 plus tax on, a, on an order. But I used some of my VIP points. So this, I got a package coming, but it cost me $20. <laughs> Can't 
Can anybody guess what's in the package? That would, that would be, so there's, should I say how many items there are in there? There's three items in the package. And I, and I ordered it on September 17th is when it was ordered. <laughs> and so I don't know when it'll, it'll come, but it would cost me $20. So I was going to try to not buy any Lego, but I had those points. Now I did, this is how, I was going to get it where it was totally free. So I was, if I redeemed another $20 worth of points, but I was like, but it's $19.99. So where would that extra penny go? <laughs> so to save a penny, so, so to save a penny, I spent $20. And I really shouldn't be buying stuff at this time, but uh, I did. And uh, I'm, I am cutting back though. And I did place a Bricklink order. But it was only twenty dollars, also, and I did place a Macari order, but it was seven dollars and fifty cents. So I did terrible today. I got to go back on strike from uh, buying Lego. See you guys.